Hey, this is Steve Buck Star Rays at AmberStreet.com. We're here at WonderCon 2016, and this year in Los Angeles, and I'm here with this lovely lady. Can you tell me your name, dear, or describe your cosplay? Yes, I'm Jay Appletini, and I'm doing Poison Ivy today. Uh, it was commissioned by one of my gorgeous friends, made this specially for me, because I wanted to go for a nice classic look. Okay. And I pretty much think I'm Poison Ivy every day anyway, so this is just a personification of myself. Okay, let me head out take a look. Very impressive, very well done. <laughs> and even the, is that a real tattoo? This is a real tattoo, yes. So it's, you're hardcore a Poison Ivy fan? Yeah, the tattoo is based off of the uh, Aunt Lucia artwork from the DC Bombshell covers. Oh, okay, yeah. so you're doing like the DC Bombshell version of Poison Ivy. Kind of, I, I love the classic version as well, and I like keeping my costumes nice and simple, so went for something very classic. Okay, well, and how long did it take you to put this cosplay together? Not long, because I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, so somebody else commissioned it, somebody Someone else, else somebody it. else. Yeah, I make some of my own costumes this uh, someone wanted to make, so they made it for me. But they built it to fit you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but, okay, so it didn't take very long. Not for me. <laughs> Not for you, but I mean, how long do you, would you guess I mean, it took for them to get uh, your costume? It took her about, uh, about two weeks to finish making it for me. Okay, that's about uh, average, about average. And if you had to guesstimate, how much do you think it costs to do this cosplay? The makeup, every hair, everything? Uh, well, the tattoo, if you don't count the tattoo, it only cost me probably about $100, so it wasn't too bad this one. But... Okay, okay. Uh, well, how much did that tattoo cost? Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> It was a lot, too much, huh? That was a little bit, yeah, that was a lot, but it was worth it. <laughs> and is this your first WonderCon? My first WonderCon, yes. Oh, okay, so I can't really ask you what you think about it being in LA as opposed to Anaheim. <laughs> no, but I've heard a lot of people are pissed off about it. Yeah, a lot of people said it was kind of disorganized and they like being close to Disneyland. Yeah, that's what I heard. Because they'll go to Disneyland at the same time as the convention. I don't but... blame them. I would do the same thing. <laughs> Fair enough, and I hear it's going back next year. Well, that's good. The and Anaheim Convention Center is really nice. And what is your favorite convention? Ooh. That'd be a toss up between Emerald City Comic Con and Star Wars Celebration. Oh, I love Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. I, I covered that as press last year. It was so much fun. I went last year and it was my first time being in California and I had such a good time. Well, thank you very much for your time thank and you I have so. your permission to use this on amberstreet.com. Absolutely. Do you have a business card as well? I do, I do. I will give it to you. This is Steve Buck Star Rays at amberstreet.com. You have a nice day and I will see you. 25 billion years, I will. <laughs>